Hi there, this is Self-Critical Automaton, and welcome to the first episode of my new Let's Play, which will be Bayonetta. Uh, I have a little bit of setup stuff that I want to do before we start the game proper, so this first episode is mostly going to be me talking and then some intro cutscenes. So, without further ado, the first thing I want to mention is that, uh, in general, my videos are going to be about 20 minutes long. This one will be shorter, and the next one will be longer, because there's no good stopping place in the middle of the prologue, but... Uh, yeah, uh, second thing is that I've been really sick with coronavirus for like four months now. Um, I am recovered enough that I can get around and do stuff, but I'm still having a lot of flare-ups of symptoms and so on. So uh, apologies if I'm coughing, you know, from time to time. Loud coughs I will edit out, but if I'm coughy or sniffly, you're just going to have to live with that. So I have a lot of stuff about this game to say. That was weirdly phrased, but whatever. And uh, I'm probably going to talk about it endlessly while we're playing, but I think it's a really interesting game mechanically. It's, well, it's fun mechanically, and it's got a lot going on thematically. Uh, there's a lot to talk about with regards to sexuality and sexualization. There's a lot to talk about with regards to camp as a visual tradition. Um, even, you know, directorial influences and an obsession with the frame, an obsession with superficiality, and an obsession with just unpretentious coolness, just you know, whatever is absolutely radical in the eyes of, you know, people, but then they're like, oh, I, I'm embarrassed by the fact that I think this is cool. So yeah, that's the basis of what this is going to be. I have played half of this game in the past, but I don't really want to switch over from doing an exhaustive let's play of a game I've played before to a blind let's play of a game I haven't played halfway through the game. So this won't be super obvious to you as a viewer, but uh, there is, you know, going to be, it's going to be exhaustive all the way through, but about halfway through I will be slightly closer uh, in, you know, my hot takes and the things inspiring them. Um, I, won't, I'll, I will be pre-playing sections so that I can do that properly, but uh, my reaction should still be fairly fresh based on that, I guess. Um, well, that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. So, uh, yes, and the final thing is that I will be trying not to talk over cutscenes. I might cut in with comments occasionally, but I hate talking over the dialogue of the characters and I want to preserve it, you know, in a fairly consistent way for, for you who are watching. So, let's get started. In your wickedness, you have broken the ancient commandments and crafted a bond with one of the light. Our laws are clear. They demand you be eternally imprisoned. As for the impure child, she must be kept from the path of the dark arts for a... So before we start the game proper, there's a couple more things that I want to talk about real quick. Um, just about the ways I'm going to do this let's play in the face of the kind of game that this is. So um, there's a lot of stuff in this game that only appears under very specific circumstances or which you kind of need to complete it multiple times to, to obtain. For that reason, I'll be playing on the normal difficulty rather than one of the harder difficulties, which I would prefer because I don't have a completed save of this game and uh, you don't unlock the harder difficulties until you've completed the easier ones. So it's going to be normal the whole way through, uh, which is always a reassuring phrase to say, I guess. Uh, on that note as well, there are a few things like unlockable bonus characters you can play as that are really only available on a second playthrough. Uh, similarly... There are achievements, well, there's something called Umbran Tears of Blood, which are collectibles scattered throughout the game's levels. If you collect all 101 of those, then you unlock a special mode. However, in order to collect all 101, you have to play it through on multiple difficulties, because they only appear on certain difficulties. Um, so...
So yeah, I do not want to play through this game a whole bunch of times on camera for a Let's Play, although I might play it multiple times uh, for fun, because it's a fun game. So uh, we're going to not be seeing any of those items or unlockable characters or any of that kind of stuff in the game. I'm still going to collect the Tears of Blood when I see them, but I'm not going to hope for any kind of special result of that. Similarly, there are a few things that only occur when certain parameters within the game are met. For example, there is a, a really interesting bonus boss, but he only appears once you have collected 10 million halos in the game, which is just the game's currency. Uh, that might be possible on a, on a single playthrough, or it might not. I am not going to farm for halos. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Maybe I will record a uh, special one-off episode after I've completed the game in order to show off that boss fight, but that will be sorted out later. And finally, there is a mechanic in the game where within the levels of the game there are sections which are little bonus combat challenges you can skip or complete as you please. They aren't necessary to complete the level, but they do affect your score, and uh, some of them can be quite hard to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off all of these, or at least as many of them as I am aware of exist, And um, but some of them are really difficult. So... What I'm going to do is, for each of those, I will attempt it. If it's one I know I can't beat, I will commentate while I uh, while I play, because all of my all of my let's plays are live commentary. I don't really like to record commentary after the game, so it's going to be um, yeah. The first attempt on ones I know I can't beat, I will commentate live as normal, and then continue on after I fail. On the ones where I'm pretty sure I can beat them, I will. Uh, record all of my attempts and then, you know, take the successful one and then uh, dub audio on top of it afterwards so that you don't have to watch me try 10 times to beat a, a single challenge. And uh, yeah, so I think that's everything that we need to know before we get started. So let's jump right in with a new game. On normal difficulty, as I said. In a universe of light and dark, where perception is reality. This whole sequence is a playable cutscene, but there is dialogue that I don't want to talk over, so I'm going to just be quiet. Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umber Ridges, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. The once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witches' favor.
their victory was short-lived. Fearing the witch's dark abilities, humans began to condemn the remaining Umbra. They launched the witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who wished to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. All but one. And that's the intro to this game. So, uh, the next episode we'll get started with the game proper, with chapter one, the prologue, which is the prologue, not chapter one. Chapter one will be chapter one, but uh, the first, you know, proper section of the game, which has all the tutorial stuff and some of, you know, the actual game stuff. So, that will be next episode. As you can see, there's already a lot of interesting narrative elements in play. We've got weird alternate history, we've got... Uh, <laughs> flashbacks, we've got people sacrificing themselves to summon things, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. So I'm really looking forward to running through this game and I hope you'll come along for the ride with me. I will catch you later, goodbye. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and there's links to my other projects in the description. Thank you so much for watching.